you have completed the first step to becoming a hacker by clicking on this video. The rest of the steps I'll be sharing with you in this video will put you on the right path to becoming any type of hacker you want to be. Before we begin, show your support for this channel by subscribing and turning on the notifications so you don't miss any new content. Now, how can you become a hacker? Before we get into that, let's understand who a hacker is and the types of hackers out there. A hacker is someone who finds vulnerabilities in a computer system or network by gaining authorized or unauthorized access to the said computer or network. There are three types of hackers, namely white hat hacker, gray hat hacker, and black hat hacker. A white hat hacker or ethical hacker is a hacker who gains authorized access to a computer or network in order to discover vulnerabilities or weaknesses and help them fix them. A black hat hacker, on the other hand, gains access to computers and networks through malicious and unauthorized means in order to perform mischievous activities. Black hat hackers are mostly involved in criminal activities for their own gains. A grey hat hacker is a hacker who employs malicious means to gain access to a computer or a network in order to discover vulnerabilities, report such vulnerabilities and sometimes help fix the problem. They have no intention of using those vulnerabilities for their own personal gains, unlike black hat hackers. They are however ready to forego all ethics, rules and regulations for a good cause. In essence, grey hat hackers serve as the middle ground between black hat and white hat hackers. Next, let's take a look at the steps involved in becoming any hacker you want to be. Step number one, stop using your current operating system and start using Kali Linux. I'm sure you're asking why. Well, the reason is simple. Kali Linux is an OS for hacking and it's also equipped with over 600 hacking tools for penetrating, cracking passwords, testing and other cybersecurity purposes. All these tools and more will help you make your hacking career easier. One other thing to know about Kali Linux is that the original source code is open source and what that means is that you can customize or tweak the system to your own preferences. That and more reasons why it's called Hacker's Paradise. Kali Linux is not really complicated, hence very beginner friendly. However, if you are very new to it, you can start with Ubuntu which is also another Linux system. This will help you get an idea of what you'll be getting into. The next step is to have a clear understanding of computer networking. It's very important to know what goes on in the background. Having a clear understanding of networking and its various protocols will make it easier for you to be able to manipulate them and get them to do your bidding. It will be difficult to gain access to networks, whether legally or illegally, when you don't have an idea of how these systems and networks operate. If you want to become a very good hacker, then the next step for you is learning programming. Kali Linux, as I said before, comes with over 600 hacking tools and they don't require any programming to be able to use. But then, if you want to take hacking seriously and be very good at it, then you'll need to learn programming. If you have no idea which programming language to learn, you can begin with front-end languages such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These three languages are not difficult to learn and also offer lots of creativity and flexibility. After that, you can add a backend language such as PHP. One language you should learn no matter what is Python. Python is very essential for hacking and is also easy to learn and use as a beginner. The fourth step is to learn how to scan and gather valuable information. A hacker without information or who doesn't know how to gather information is like an empty gun, literally useless. As a hacker, you should be able to scan and gather information on networks, websites, systems and more so as to know how to get in or out. You can use tools like Nmap, Unicorn Scan, Whois, Dig and other tools to scan and gather information. The fifth step in the process of becoming a hacker is to understand server and client-side attacks. Server-side attacks or service-side attacks are attacks that are launched to compromise, breach and exploit the data and applications on a particular server. Examples of server-side attacks include SQL injection, 
DOS, and DDoS attacks, amongst others. Whereas client-side attacks are targeted at the software or applications on the desktop of a client or user. Client-side attacks occur when a user downloads malicious content. Understanding these types of attacks will help you understand how to initiate and stop them when necessary. The last step you need as a hacker is to acquaint yourself with the latest and popular hacking tools. Examples of such tools are Metasploit. Metasploit is primarily a white hat hacking tool that's used for vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. It's very popular because it makes hacking really easy. Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper is a very powerful and one of the oldest password cracking and testing tools. It's designed to test password strength and crack passwords via dictionary attacks. Next on the list is Beef. Beef is the abbreviation for the browser exploitation framework. It is a penetration testing tool that focuses on web browsers. It is used to hook one or more web browsers and use them as beachheads to initiate command modules and further attacks. Burp Suite Burp Suite, or Burp, as it's commonly called, is the most widely used web vulnerability scanner. It's a proxy-based tool used to evaluate and test the security of web-based applications. Nmap Nmap is one of the most popular and free network discovery tools. It's used to find live hosts on a network, ping sweeps, OS detection, and perform port scanning. Wireshack Wireshack is the most popular packet sniffer in the world. What it does is to capture packets of data within a network, such as from your computer to your home office or the internet, and display them in a readable form to the end user. SQL Map SQL Map is a well-known SQL injection automation tool that's used for exploiting databases and hacking. It can also read and write files on remote file systems in certain instances. So these are the main steps you will need to follow if you plan on becoming a hacker. Follow these steps and also get your hands on the popular hacking tools and you'll be on the path to becoming a very good hacker. The type of hacker you intend to be will depend on your own morals and principles. But have in mind that the black and grey hat hacking are illegal and might get you into serious trouble when caught. Thanks for getting to the end of this video. Do well to subscribe if you haven't done so already and leave a like or comment. Until the next video, it's bye for now.